Over 100 persons have benefited from the free medical tests organized by the Ambrose Mordebe Foundation in memory of the pa Ambrose Mordebe, who died 30 years ago. The event which held at Ishago in our nature south local government area also featured the formal launch of the foundation. Eunice Emeazia reports. The Ambrose Modebe Foundation provided residents of the Ishago community free medical counseling service and tests for blood pressure, blood sugar, malaria, and weight, while also giving the people free treatments according to their diagnosis from a range of drugs including antihypertensives, antimalarials, antibiotics, vitamins, and analgesics. The chairman of the foundation's board of trustees and retired naval officer, Mr. Austin Modebe, said the exercise will be carried out regularly to enhance the living standards of the people and solicited the support of all in ensuring sustained empowerment and medical support for the needy and vulnerable persons. We just decided to think through to find a way of carrying on with some of those works that he did at his own level within the limits that he could go when he was alive. My father was fond of intervening in people's lives. We said to treat people and we are going to see it grow through beyond this community. The board of the Ambrose Modebe Foundation consists of the seven children of the late Pa Modebe of Umudibe in Umuazoma Obetiti Shago, who was a devout Catholic, medical staff, social patriot and advocate against injustice. There was a life. There was such a person that um, was so much concerned about the well-being of everyone. Like in those environments, sometimes some sick persons, those who have some health challenges, discover that even while nobody cares for them, he will personally go help the people out, nurse them. Okay, like the tests that were conducted today, some of them didn't know their blood pressures were high. Some of them didn't know they had low, uh, blood pressure as well. Some also didn't know they had malaria in them. You know, most times you, you, you wait until you're knocked down. So about, uh, through this outreach, through this foundation, we're able to, to reach out to people. So it's been God's grace all these years. You could imagine 30 years ago how little I was. So I thank God for today. We had to do this because of the kind of man he was. He left so much legacy for us. I will have to like honor him. He deserved it. Dignitaries at the event commended the children of the late Pamodebe for keeping their father's memory alive. Naturally, the Modebe family has been uh, people of immense humanitarian uh, gesture. They have a great uh, sense of service to humanity. So I'm not surprised. I know that they will sustain it. And most of us also, whatever God places in our house, will definitely support them in ensuring that this still continues. And to me, it is a way of showing gratitude to God for giving them a good father. We need to commend the late parents because if they had not left a good foundation, if they had not left a good uh, legacy, the children wouldn't have anything to build on. The beneficiaries expressed gratitude to the Ambrose Modebe Foundation for the free medical care and for creating awareness on the silent killer ailments. They give me medicine today. I need a pill. I give it for free. I'll tell you, I'll say, then thank you. May God bless them. <laughs> the event featured a brief exhortation and prayer session, as well as health talk on how to avoid diabetes, high blood pressure, and other related ailments. But hypertension cannot be treated just like diabetes. They can be controlled. And if you don't take your medications, then you are back to square one. So we have tried to counsel them the, about the importance of taking their medications regularly and visiting their attending doctors regularly. Late Pa Ambrose Modebe died on the 5th of April 1992 from heart failure. In his memory, his children established a foundation after his name to contribute to the work of saving humanity from heart-related attacks and high blood pressure and to reach out to the less privileged in a most significant way. Eunice Emeazia reporting.